As you saw in the intro, guys, this is going to be the last video until the huge stream we're having this weekend. We're going to do two massive 12 hour long races, one of them of which should be a world record. We're going to have loads of fun on stream all weekend, and we should hopefully get quite close to 100k. Make sure that you be there. Let's jump into today's video. How's it going everyone, JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is now winter in Forza Horizon 4, officially the worst season in the game for making YouTube thumbnails with. But nevertheless, now it is winter, we have access to two different brand new cars, or I should say, one of them's new, one of them's an old exclusive car returning. But the main new car that we now have access to this week is the Ford Mustang, however, if I can go to it, wherever it is... It's another RTR version, comes stock with 1000 horsepower and can, as like the other ones, be upgraded to 1900 horsepower, fully upgraded, but it's the drift version. It's got a window sticker, it's got cool liveries, it's got a nice camber on it, it's an all round good looking car, it's an amazing drift car, an insanely fast car, and all round it's a beast. And today we're going to be talking about the fastest way that you can get this car through the festival playlist as shown on screen. If you go to your festival playlist, you'll see that you only have to get 50% of Winter's playlist to get the RTR Mustang for free. I'm sure many of you know by now, you unlock progression through the season as you complete the challenges, such as the Forza-thons, the trials, the events, PR stunts, and such and such. Each little one you do will give you a slight percentage towards the finished product, but you only need 50% to get the Mustang and I have got all the percentages down and I'm going to tell you which of these to do to get the Mustang the quickest way. Believe it or not you only have to do a very minimal amount of races to do this, half of them are just challenges and PR stunts that gets you the percentage so you can actually un unlock this Mustang very quickly by doing these tips. So you need 50% completion to unlock the Mustang. Here is what I recommend doing. First of all, you have the weekly Forzathon. Now, the weekly Forzathon challenge will actually give you 15% towards your completion. The weekly Forzathon challenge this week is in a transit supervan. First, you jump in the transit supervan and drive it. You get the first part done. Second, you have to win two races, which are road races, and make sure they're sprint races. So find sprint races on the map, win them both in the supervan. That's the second challenge unlocked. The third challenge, you have to get some bin man skills. Go up to the city around my location here and just run over a load of bins and you'll you'll eventually get it. It's very simple. And then the fourth and final chapter to the weekly Forzathon is to get trading paint skills. Now you do this just by scraping the car against other cars. As you'll see on the screen right now, this is how you get them. It'll take, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes to do this, but you'll get 15% straight away towards your 50%. The weekly challenge is always worth doing because it gives you the highest percentage and doesn't take very long to do. Then if you scroll out over the right, you'll see a bunch of seasonal PR stunts and seasonal events. Now, I don't think it's worth doing all of the seasonal events because these seasonal events have like three or four races each and you only get 6% as opposed to 15% for the Forza Thon weekly. So try to avoid the seasonal events for now. But you have three PR stunts. One of them is a danger zone that I did in the Koenigsegg Agera RS, down at the kind of the stunt place with the, the weird train station thing. You know what I mean. But complete this in the um, in the Koenigsegg Agera, something fast. You'll easily get the three stars um, championship requirement, and it'll give you 6% again. You should be about 21% now. Then there's another PR stunt, which is a speed trap up in the city. I did this in the other 1900 horsepower Mustang. Very easy, 235 miles an hour I think you need. Something like that, it's very easy in a fast car. Jump in the Mustang, the Koenigsegg, just take the route that you see on screen, cross the speed trap, you'll get another 6%. That'll get you up to 27%, and you've only done a couple of races for the Forza Don Weekly. Very easy, you're already over halfway. Then there's another PR stunt, which is a speed zone, also near the city. This one's also very easy, because you can just wall ride around it. It wasn't too easy in the Mustang as I could show you here on screen. I recommend choosing something that's all-wheel drive, like a Koenigsegg again, a Lamborghini. It doesn't need to be very fast, you only need to do it at 108 miles an hour. But just go really fast, wall ride around, complete the speed zone, that's another 6%. You should now be at 33%. You haven't done any races apart from the two for the Forzathon Weekly Challenge, and you're already at 33%. Now, unfortunately, you're stuck with quite annoying challenges left. However, 
I recommend doing the monthly rivals. You click on this monthly rivals here, all you have to do is one lap in the BMW Z4, the brand new 2019 one, it's quite nice, do one lap without hitting any walls, so it has to be a clean lap, and that's it. Just quit and you'll complete it, and you'll get another 6%. That'll get you up to 39%. Most people don't look at the monthly rivals and the online adventure because they think it takes a while. They rather do these seasonal events, which take ages. This monthly rivals, you can do this in two minutes and it'll give you 6% and you only have to do one lap. So do this, get this out of the way and you'll be at 39%. And then what you'll have left, you'll have the trial left, you'll have the playground games, you'll have the three seasonal events and the showcase remix. Now the trial gives you a nice amount of percentage, but it's online, it takes a while to find a match, there's loads of races, I think there's like five, four or five races, it's not worth it. Don't go through the hassle of doing this, unless you want to get 100%, or it's 80% now, I wouldn't bother with the trial. The showcase remix is once again, it's only one race, the showcase remix is what I would recommend you do. And it's just one race, it's a quick showcase remix, so it's quite a fun race, it's not a boring one, because it's a showcase, gives you a 6% and it's only one race, very simple, and then you've got 5% left to go. Now for the leftover 5%, you have to do one of the seasonal events. I recommend doing this one, the frozen fun, because not only is it only three races, as opposed to these, which are four, I believe. One of them is four, anyway. The Frozen Fun is only three races, and you get a brand new car, which hasn't been in the game before, the Lotus. And after the three races, you'll get the last 6% towards your goal, and you'll get a total of 51%. I've got 52% because I accidentally did the daily challenge, which isn't an issue. So I only had to do about five, six, seven races or something like that. Some of them was only like one lap. And I now have the Mustang. The rest was like the PR stunts and stuff like that. Very simple. As I said, if you just want the Mustang, avoid the trial. It takes ages. Even the seasonal playground games, you may try this out because it says games on it, but it takes forever. Sometimes this can take up to half an hour to complete. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if you're looking to get the Mustang quickly, I don't recommend doing that. So do all the PR stunts, do the monthly rivals, which is surprisingly very quick and easy. And then you'll have to do one seasonal event, but why not unlock the exclusive Lotus while you're at it? And that should be it. That is, is the discovered quickest way to unlock the new Mustang, which took me less than an hour to do. Out of all the Mustangs that have been added, this is probably my favourite one. Uh, one of them was the road going version of it, the Spec 5. The other two have been kind of drift kind of versions with cool paint jobs on them, window stickers, um, drift kind of spec. This one's my favourite, I think. It looks a lot better in the purple scheme. The window sticker's cool. This is my favourite, so let's have a look at it. I've heard that the other drift spec Mustang was actually insane at drifting to the point where it could beat... Oh, that grill is awesome. It could beat the Formula Drift car at the drift zones. So if we look at the back, it's got... Oh, it's got a hollowed out rear end in there. It's got the... Uh, ooh, it's got something on the back there. I like the window sticker at the front. If this is anything like the other drift version... This is one of the best drift cars in the game, one of the best drag cars in the game, one of the best accelerating cars in the game. This thing is unreal. So by the looks of it, there is an engine that will give you 1700 horsepower, but I'm presuming the stock engine is what gives you nearly 1900. Yeah, it's the stock engine. Not have a massive amount of upgrades, I can't quite remember the upgrades on the other one. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think there's as many upgrades on this one. It's not an issue, really. It's still going to be insanely powerful. There we go. 1,876 horsepower drift monster. Oh, it definitely feels like it, it definitely has a lot better handling than the, uh, the, uh, the, the Spec 5, I think. I mean, I should hope so. I can definitely feel the good driftiness in it. I mean, I'm rubbish at drifting. I'm absolutely terrible, but I can tell that if driven properly... What a beast. <laughs> it's good at pushing minis in the water as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Just out of curiosity, guys, what a Mustang that's just been added, either the, the Spec 5, the other Drift one we've just got, or this one that's just been released today. Which one's your favourite? As I said earlier, this is probably mine, mainly because I like the paint scheme on it, and it's still got that insanely high horsepower that all of the other ones to have. 
something else I want to ask you. Let me know if these videos are useful where I go ahead and get these exclusive cars straight away. And then kind of jot down the best and easiest and quickest ways to get through the percentages just to unlock it because it can sometimes take a while to do it and some people just want to get straight to it like I do. I want the car straight away. But anyway, ladies, get this car while you can. It's an amazing thing. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.